being able to do good exploratory testing is, from my point of view, key in the testing process. And a good tool to use to help you in your exploratory journey is the exploratory testing Chrome extension. So it allows you to basically take notes while you're browsing a site and categorize the findings into bugs, notes, questions, and ideas. And you can even export your findings. So let's see how this looks. So we're here now on, on this page and um, let's see, we go to this enabled and disabled elements. Here, we maybe uh, get an idea. Um, change the input or change the text for the disabled disabled uh, field and maybe suggestion input is disabled for this field this doesn't really sound that correct it's from my point of view and you can either add it directly or add it with a screenshot so let's add one the screenshot okay um good let's do I don't know date picker and here I would want to know um, is there a way to test different formats so like English or let's make it like uh, French American, etc. Okay, let's add this one with um, a screenshot as well. Um, we go to buttons. Okay, let's make a note. Um, cannot see um, borders for the below buttons and here we can say left middle right and this one we're going to add without a screenshot and let's see if we can find like a bug so here make it like New York City and um, Main Street, number two, New York State, and zip code. Well, here I would expect that they validate the zip code. And that's definitely not a New York City zip code. Okay, so no validation for zip code in the sense that, well, it should be a correlation to um, state or city at least from the number of elements or number of uh, digits perspective and we're going to add a screenshot here and let's see how this looks at the moment so if we want to see how what are all of our findings we can go to view session report and here we have a report um, with everything that we we uh, seen so we have bugs idea no question and when you have we have screenshots if we hover over this we can also see the screenshot and if for example we want to use our findings or send our findings to somebody else we can just export to HTML let's just do that and here we have an HTML page with our findings and we can also, if we want, take our uh, current session and export it to um, to a JSON, in a JSON format for future reference. And if by any chance we want just to clear everything, we just hit reset. 
now if we want to see the session well we have nothing this one is still present because it's from the older session but if we refresh it then we have nothing it's an empty screen because basically now we removed all our previous findings have a look at the extension i'm pretty sure you can use it and i hope it will make your exploratory testing more productive or at least easier to write the, the findings. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.